Liz, quick question about the Johnny Appleseed sketch. Does it hurt it if we can't call him Johnny Appleseed? Yes, why? Well, Johnny Appleseed was a real guy and his descendants are very litigious. So here is a list of the names that legal says we can use. Jerry Banana Seed and nothing else. Great, so what are my choices? Either I argue with legal or I spend all day writing something else. Does anyone care how hard oh. I work? We can't use Jerry Banana Seed. Someone with that name killed a bunch of nurses in Portland. What is going on? Representative Regina Bookman is using the Cable Town hearings as a soapbox from which to complain about a lack of diversity on TV. Well, she has a point. I was reading the new Malcolm Gladwell New Yorker piece on my Kindle. Did you really read that? No, I did not. I really resent the Congresswoman's accusations. I've long been an advocate for diversity. It's made this nation great. The Chinese built the railroad, the Irish built, and then filled the jails. A guy named Juan built my armoire. Diversity means new ideas and new markets. It is our best hope for true innovation. Did you tell all that to Congresswoman Bookman? No, I was too busy trying to remember the name of the black kid on Community. Denal Glover. It wouldn't have mattered anyway. The whole thing was just political theater. You should have seen her grandstanding. The future and America. Now, I may have lost my train of thought several minutes ago, but if I continue to talk like this, no one will notice, and when I stop, you will applaud my energy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can't let Bookman jeopardize this deal. Tell me about diversity at TGS. Well, Lutz claims to be Inuit. At least that was his explanation when I found his poem about snow. What about Tufer? Is he any good? I don't know if he's mentioned this to you a hundred times, but he went to Harvard. So we know he's smart and superb at masturbation. Ha! Is there any way we can give him a promotion of some kind? Sure. Make him co-head writer. I always figured he'd take over for me when I die at my desk. Really? You're okay with that? Oh, yeah. Let someone else share the total lack of respect, deal with the meetings, the complaining, the stupid Johnny Appleseed sketch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You are not doing a sketch on the Appleseed family. Monty Appleseed and I share a liquor locker at the opera. Oh! oh I forgot my doctor said no more frustrated noises because it makes my vocal cords go... It's gonna be like this all day. Okay, let's dig in, cohorts. It means the badger in Spanish. Uh, I'm not sure who did it. Twofer's got a head writer sign on his door. It's great, good for him. Oh, God, take home face. Is this about the TV interview? What TV interview? It's nothing. It's just a local cable show. Well, if my co-head writer is being interviewed, then so am I. Aquí viene el tejón. Welcome to Right On. I'm your host, Rutherford Rice. With me is my co-host, Shirley Thomas. Our topic for today is African Americans and their roles in the media. Our first guest is James Spurlock, head writer for TGS with Tracy Jordan. Good day, Tri-Staters. Co, co-head writer. And also with us is someone named Elizabeth Lemon. Thank you, Rutherford, it is a I can tell that you're off me. Mr. Spurlock, do you think the system is broken when it is news that an African-American man is a head writer for a network TV show? I think I can answer that. Um, another question that we could be asking is why isn't it a big deal that a woman is a head writer? I would argue that TV is more of a boys club than a white club. I like your dress. Do you have to wear a bra with it? I'll let you get back to twofer. Who's twofer? I don't know. James, when people think of TGS, they think of Tracy Jordan, Jenna Maroney, the mysterious crew deaths, the Angela Lansbury lawsuit. What they don't think of is you working long hours late into the night, giving up any semblance of a life. Well, James Spurlock, you can finally take your bow. You are right on. It's Arthur Ashe of the week. Okay, you know what? I get it. I shouldn't be here. I should realize that when I saw the masks and the picture of black Jesus. That's me in college. All righty. Fred, I said I was leaving. You don't have to have your boss come and... That's a security guard. That's not great. <laughs>